Hi everyone, Messi Coder here and welcome to another Unity Asset Review and in this video I'll be checking out the PBR Temple Pack from Red Panda. So get yourself sat back, relax and hold on to your pantyhose because here we go into the Temple Pack and you might have guessed it, it's Wednesday and I'm a wee bit pissed. So, Sit back, enjoy, and let's see what this pack has got under its kilt. And here we are inside Unity, and I'm gonna try and do my Scottish accent and keep it going. So, shall we start? All right, let's start. So, I'm gonna go and open up the PBR Temple. And if I click scenes, we see here we've got a temple scene. We're going to click OK and get started. So let's see how long it takes to load. And tell me about your day. Oh, here we go. It's loaded up. So I don't care about your day. Stop talking to me. Now, let's see. What do we... I bloody love you. I... Oh, I have no use for this pack whatsoever in my life. But it's bloody beautiful beautiful look at it oh oh let's let's see what do we get i've got here click view and i see the layout here's the inspect view that i made so let's see what do you get we got clip oh clips let's just use the prefabs folder because when playing about here i can see that everything is pretty low poly to be fair and the quality is tasty. Tasty indeed. So let's have a look at the structures that we get. Oh dear, why is there a mesh missing here? Okay, naughty. Okay. We've got here a stone rail. So these are, it's a bit, it's like a Mayan um, style, isn't it? Um, is it Mayan Inca? What do you say? I think it's more Mayan y. Uh, I do do like the I like when people put these little effects in there to make them look withered and old and wizened um, like a prune like an old man's wang so we've got here a lovely little bit of data oh, I like it these little effects make it look real make it look lived in this is my advice to any budding artist don't make things nice and clean. It's not an IKEA catalog that people are going to use your stuff. Well, actually, some people do. I have seen some kits that literally are for things like VR walkthroughs of architecture and stuff. Well, most people want them for their funky games, and a funky game is lived in and it's slightly soiled, and really they've had a late night that they don't want to talk about. And I love it. I love it indeed. And I do like the little details. This is much better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest, because even though I love the look of the demo scene video, I've seen a lot of these videos and a lot of people putting special effects and shenanigans to make things better than they really are, or relying on shaders to do all of the work for them. And well, this, so far, I'm happy. Look, there's the full head, and so you can have him with a head, just the body, and there's his back bit. So there's the statue back. Nice rubbles. Could use this in like um destroy it. Oh he's a scary fellow, isn't he? Isn't he? He's doing the hacker. Who mama de come the wiggla wiggla oo gaga boo gaga You know what I mean, he's doing that. You can see just the the quality in his textures. Oh what's that though? That's is that a dirty seam? Are you a dirty seam? I think you are a dirty seam. I think that there is a dirty seam. Are you going to say that's intentional? I don't know. I think it might be a dirty seam. So, uh, generally, very nice. Generally, very nice indeed. You are a lovely rocks. Me. Me. Much better. Oh, look at the difference between the two. Look at the diff look what the difference a bit of detail makes. Nice. 
Nice. Okay. Vases. Everyone needs a vase. A little bit low poly, but then it's that beaded vase. There you go. See, that's what it's used for. Do you know what we could use that for? We could go ultimate survival and have the rain falling because then we have it filling up and then we could use that tutorial we did the other day where we are filling up our flask on the water here. Couldn't we? Couldn't we? Yes, we could. And I know you want to. I know you want it. Let's see the plants. What plants have we got? We've got a big plant, a fern. We have a girl called Fern. And we've got another fern. We've got a orange flower. Not overly impressed with that bit of a flower. Start a bit stylized, the effects. A bit of an, this outline stylized look makes it interesting. It's like the blend between hand painted look and photorealistic. Photorealistic hand painted, we could call it. I like it. All right. All right. I'm going to play about with this demo scene. Now, this demo scene, we get no controllers and no camera, it seems. But, oh, what's this effects? Do you get some effects that are chucked in? Mist, cloud, leaves fall. All right, let's download ourselves the standard asset characters. Let's click play, see what it's like. That's better. So, here is our big weird dog thing. So, generally, this is a PB at the. Oh, I don't like the grass. Um, and I like this though. That's pretty. Floppy, floppy. Um, and this big statue. I Now that we see these in game, I like them. I like them. You can't really notice that they're all a bit chippy choppy. Um, he's a bit... You could, you could feel like you're going to run your hands over him. Um, but his 3D-ness does disappoint me a little bit. This, on the other hand, this, I like a lot. I like you a lot. Um, I'm the texture. I mean, the the texture effect, the art effect of this kit. I don't know what is is like. Oh, his head, his head, blah, his head's missing. Um, there's his head. We found it. So, is he going for painted, or is he going for photo real? Because it's not photo realistic. It is. It looks a bit like it's hand painted, but it's PBR hand painted. That's that's what it is. It's hand painted PBR, which is weird, because normally you'd be going like that kind of painted matte feel to it, and this is a shiny PBR bumpity bump feel to it. It's odd. It's odd. You I mean it'd be difficult? One thing that I would say it would be difficult to find other packs and asset and artwork that might fit seamlessly with this kit that's a strange strange negative to say yeah you're blowing in the wind strange negative to say that's nice go across the trees that's nice um strange like complaint but it's a, it's a valid one because um oh i don't like the um i don't like this plant it's, so it's uh, like if you buy something, you need to know that you can use other things with it. That's just my opinion. But um, if this guy is bringing out more stuff in this series, then you've basically got cornered yourself a market, haven't you? Because you've got people who love your style and they need more of it. So fair play, you clever bugger. Fair play. This. I love this. That's odd for me to say that I love some stonework. Well, I do. I really like the detail on there. I really like... I mean, this pack here, me walking through it, it's a pleasure. Do you know what's the most pleasurable thing at the moment? I mean, all of it looks nice, but this floor here, this pathway that you're walking along, you don't always appreciate them in the kits or the games that you play. But my word. My word. I love it. Look at the floor. I do. I mean, there's... It could be better, like the textures every now and again, because uh, it's weird hand painted PBR bit. Maybe it doesn't lend itself so well. So sometimes when you do see that it's a little bit odd, stands out. Sometimes it just stands out. 
bit jaggedy, bit and like it needs, like the anti alias was turned off or something. That's a good way of describing it every now and again. But in general, I love it so far. I do, and that's not just the beer talking. That is me being a very happy man. The plants, on the other hand, I could do without. It's just his plants like this. Bear. Bear. I don't like that plant. I like this plant though. I like you. You're a pretty plant, aren't you? Pretty plant. See that? Six times fast. Um, so, what do I think about this so far? I'm thinking, up until this point, before we've got inside the Temple of Doom, I'm loving it. There's some weird textures, uh, mainly because of this kind of um, painted PBR stylized look that I've not really seen before. Some of these weird, like this grass, I'm not a big fan of. The trees, I like the trees. We've got LODs on the trees and LODs on the shrubbery. We don't have LODs on some of these objects. Um, mainly they don't need, but I mean the spheres need an LOD. Those, like on this stone, you, you could do with an LOD, but you don't have one. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing. These, see what I mean about textures? It's that hand-painted PBR, like it's weird anti alias is turned off on the texture kind of thing every now and again, but that's the style. Yeah, that's the style of it. If it suits you, then it suits you. Wood, it's good wood. Because the stylized look go makes it work. It still feels like I can run my hand along it. But look at these. Look at these on the door. Those are nice. Those are nice on the door. You want to rub your hand over his head, don't you? And here we go inside the Temple of Doom. So, um, flags, again, you know, swinging nicely in the breeze. Do like it. Um, not a huge fan of this weird statue, but mainly that sharpness of his head but there you go so um well what do we say with this pack would you buy it would you have a need for it how many people are making an aztec game it's a very bold and brave move move to make something like this in my opinion we, as you can see you reuse a lot of the props there's not that many props you get in this pack we saw them it's a uh, folders um folders worth of no scrolling in the inspector and this bloke, this bloke is a bit high quality, isn't he? Let's go and jump on his lap and say, I want a pony for Christmas, Santa. Why do you get me a pony? So, um, I'm going to give it a score. I'm going to give it a score. You get effects, like we can see here, the fire and the smoke. You get a lot of beautiful, look in the distance, those, on the top of those temple, um, little bronze or whatever it is on there shimmering around those are lovely those mountains in the background work well you could use them as little stones as well but they work well i like it um i'm just sad you don't get lods on everything you get them on some stuff not on the props and the, on the objects on the trees and the shrubbery you get some nice textures on these you these steps the stones um i've i'm in love with those those are lovely. The plants, not so much. So um, it's a it's a mixed bag of pleasures. It's a mixed bag of pleasures, and on that case of a mixed bag of pleasures, I'm going to give it uh, three and a half sacrifices out of five. That's right, three and a half Aztec Jaguars out of five. As that, not so scary as a sacrifice. So um, there you go. If you, look at these. Look, yeah, how can you not love that? Um, but there's just you need to have more. Put more in there. Keep updating this pack with some more models, and I will fall off my chair in love with you. But generally, this artist, he is one to watch. Truly, there's a handful now of artists on the asset store producing a new models, and new kits, uh, new packs, rather of artwork and they are the new breed of unity artists and they are beautiful stuff beautiful stuff you've got some of the you know the old hardcore like three to forge not stopping and just keep on pursuing and pushing the levels of basically um value for money and excellence and then you've got new guys like these red panda i mean how new you are i don't know how new you are because um 
basically I haven't really looked that much but this pack's new this pack's new and tasty and I love it I love it it's not up there with uh, Quantum Shenanigan, what his name is, who does the Roman one that I reviewed the other day. That just made me just, you know, I I just, uh, I can't believe it. But this, this is up. This is a guy to watch. And on that note, you, my friend, you, my friend, I will see you another time. So if you guys like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big juicy subscribe button. Tell all your friends, all of your neighbours about it. And um, as long as you don't make little ferns like this, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.